casualty of water report then, or uh, of this particular trip. Now I've had this van for four years, and I've been doing these extended trips, these big trips, for that time, and it's been absolutely superb for that. Every year, I lose one of my centre hubcaps on the wheels, and this year has been no exception. Now having done to this point, 3,710 miles. I thought I'd absolutely nailed it because um, normally I, use, I lose the, the, the hubcap somewhere in Europe uh, and I had all four caps when I was at Dover Castle uh, and yet yeah, one of them has been sacrificed to the, uh, the hubcap god but no worries I have another one Now, I did talk about going up the, uh, the east coast of England uh, and for a number of reasons that I'm not going to bore, bore you with, uh, I haven't been able to do that route. Uh, so I'm coming up the other side because uh, I've had a couple of things to do and I'm going to head across the top of England uh, to the east coast. Uh, and see, uh, see, what's, see what is what, shall I say, uh, there. Wet and windy, wet and windy. Uh, I'm over by the, uh, the Lake District at the moment, on my way up the M6 to get myself across to the, uh, the East Coast. I know I've talked about this one before, but um, uh, there were some things that I had to do which meant that I couldn't go straight up the east coast. But yeah, the, uh, the scenery, and I'd forgotten about it, is something that's, if you've never been up to the lakes before, uh, take your breath away even in the, uh, the miserable, dank uh, environment I find myself in this moment in time. But I contrast this against some of the scenery uh, and, and vistas when I went across Europe. Actually, Europe seems quite quite flat, and that's possibly only because of the roads that I found myself on. But coming up through the uh, the Lake District right now, you're you're enclosed, you're, uh, and, and all the hills and what have you were. Kind of keeping you in. Uh, sometimes, especially now, it's quite mystifying. Uh, but yeah, you, you tend to forget about about the beauty that lies this far north. It's great. So England's almost. Uh, almost over and done with. And when I say that, it's because I find myself um, about to cross the border into Scotland. Um, I'm not sure whether or not I had Scotland in mind on this particular trip, but clearly because of the route that I've taken, um, this was the easiest way to get myself back over to the east side of the UK. <laughs> to be fair, it's what it's all about, isn't it? Road trips. Uh, you just gotta go with it. The lakes is good, but Scotland, Scotland is something altogether different.
scenery like this, you've just got to stop and remember why you do this. You know what? It's amazing where your travels take you sometimes, especially when you haven't planned. I'm in a town, village, hamlet called Horwick, not too far across the border. And this is an absolutely enchanting place. Absolutely love it. Uh, I stopped off here for some provisions, but um, the car park uh, has advertised uh, free parking for camper vans for 24 hours. So it would be mad of me not to, uh, to stop a little bit longer and consolidate. But if you're passing through on your travels, it's definitely a place to, uh, to spend a little bit of your time. Forward, again, who knew? Well, here I am on the northeast coast of the UK, currently in Scotland still, in a, uh, a quaint little harbour, fishing village called Eymouth or Eymouth. Lovely harbour, lovely beach, very, very windy, but the, uh, the sun's out, so it looks like it's going to be a glorious day. I'm going to knock about here for a little while, and then I'm going to head off back uh, into England and continue along the, uh, the northeast coast see what that's all about. Uh, for now, I'll continue with Scotland. delightful. Um, a quaint old town, uh, loving the, uh, the quiet busyness of the place. Um, it's just a shame uh, there's so much light and colour going on here. It'd be perfect for a little bit of a drone montage but the wind, the wind is just too epic. I mean, it, was, it was bad last night. Um, but we still seem to have the remnants of it. So unfortunately, I can't really risk losing the drone in all this wind, but it's a shame because it would have done this, uh, this little port, would have done it proud. Uh, I'm a couple of miles across the border Back in England, uh, in berwick upon tweed uh, the Barley Town. It's the most northern town in England, I believe. Um, and the strategic position of the town meant that it was fought over between England and Scotland uh, for over 400 years. And during that time, it passed between the hands of various kings um, over a dozen times. Uh, it now forms part of Northumberland, um, but has only done so since um, the 1800s. Before that, it was self-governing. So the people here 
have um, differences in relation to their allegiances. Uh, some are aligned to Scotland and the others are aligned to England. And the football teams here, interestingly enough, although English, play in the Scottish leagues. Now, the Act of Union, um, that put pay to where Berwick lies, firmly within England, but interestingly enough, um, Acts of Parliament in the 70s provided that uh, any act that passed a reference to England included Berwick upon Tweed uh, and, and, uh, and also Monmouthshire. Uh, so England is now defined um, from the 70s as um, areas consisting of counties um, established by the local government acts, uh, Greater London, the Scilly Isles, thus including Berwick. So this small town um, that people may not have heard of is still or vastly important to the United Kingdom today. I suppose like Cornwall, um, it has had and carries its own identity and has done from time immemorial. Uh, so I'm going to knock about. I've got three hours in the car park. Uh, I've been told by the parking attendant that I can use my finish disc. I've got three hours here, as I said. So I'm going to knock about and see what's what. Um, I I'm not sure that three hours will be enough for this place. So I may have to double dip over the next couple of days whilst I'm uh, on the coastline. Um, but we'll see what, uh, what Berwick has to offer. Mm -hmm.